Hey everyone, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Friday. It is the 4th of August, 2023. Uh, overcast day today. They called for it being overcast, which is exactly what it is. Uh, you can see with the grass, the grass is all still very, very wet. Now it's about 11 o'clock in the morning now. And uh, just, uh, what are you going to do? <laughs> Right, that's one of those things you got to deal with. But uh, we had an all-day rain yesterday, uh, just a crazy amount of rain, which was good. We actually needed it, and it also, uh, you know, it was a steady soaking rain. So that was actually the best kind, better than those torrential downpours. Uh, with a soaking rain, it gives it a chance for, you know, things to get in and soak into the ground, which is a good thing. So... Uh, really really a good good amount of rain I have not checked today so we're gonna actually go in here real quick into I'm gonna take that bag right there and I'm gonna put it in her run so let's have a look here and see where we are at today now even with it being overcast again we're still bringing in power so I'm actually curious to see where we are at with this so we'll give that a moment to uh, to cycle in and let us know where we're at now we were at when I checked it yesterday afternoon we were at 75% all right I'll show you this here right now we are at 69% and it's saying standby so it's not saying discharging and it's not saying charging so actually that's not terrible if you think about it with the amount of what the weather that we had we have brought in some power uh, today right now we got a good size clouds here that actually looks like more rain coming in all right uh, I wanted to talk about and I thought this was interesting I wanted to talk about the situation. Uh, they're talking about uh, the waters being as warm as they are. Okay, uh, they just did a reading off uh, in Miami that was the highest recorded temperature uh, since they started taking records. So th this again, you know, when we we hear this, oh, this is the highest recorded temperature ever. Yeah, well, we've only been recording these temperatures for, what, the last 140 years or so? So you're going to have these <laughs> these things happen. But anyway, so the recorded temperature was, I believe, 101 degrees, the water temperature. Uh, in Off of the, uh, it was like five feet deep uh, off Miami. Or the Keys, I'm sorry, I believe it was the Keys. It wasn't Miami, it was off the Keys, uh, the Florida Keys. So... What's causing the water to warm up? What, what is the catalyst that is causing the water to warm up? So there's a couple thoughts that I have on this, and I wanted to share them with you, and I wanted to get your feedback on this. You know, I want you to realize something. We have a better understanding of the moon than we do our own ocean floors. Uh, a lot of the ocean floor has not been explored. Uh, the Mariana Trench would be one example. They have absolutely no idea how deep that is. None whatsoever. They have no clue uh, on how deep that is out there. <clears throat> the other factor that I think a lot of people are not taking into consideration, because I haven't really heard it talked about a lot, and if somebody has heard this, uh, please let me know, because I have not heard this. There are volcanoes in the ocean as well, okay? <coughs> There's a lot of volcanoes right now going off around the world. Uh, it is safe to say uh, that there's obviously volcanoes going off in the ocean as well. That would obviously cause warming in the oceans as well. If, if there was a great number of volcanoes going off at the same time. Now, granted... We're talking about a vast, vast amount of water. But this is something that absolutely could affect things because of the, you know, amount of molten rock coming out. And it would be, you know, 
building and working its way up. I mean, you look at the Hawaiian Islands, folks. That is how the Hawaiian, uh, the Hawaiian Islands came to be. Because of the uh, volcanic activity, and eventually broke the surface and made more land. We just had that one, uh, I mean, I think one is going off again right now in Hawaii, but there was another one recently that was adding more land, uh, making America bigger, right? Uh, that just happened not that long ago, and I can't remember how much more, because uh, the volcano had erupted, spewed, uh, you know, the molten lava down, went into the ocean, cooled off, but it ended up adding quite a bit more land. And I don't know exactly what that number was, so if anybody does know exactly what that number was, please share that with me because I don't remember. But it was quite a substantial amount of land uh, that was added on. And the weird part is, like, with that, okay, my question would be, okay, well, who owns that land then? If I had owned beachfront property there, let's say I had owned that beachfront property in Hawaii and that uh, volcano had erupted and that came down, do I own that additional land now because, you know, it was bordered where I was? I, I mean, I'm, I don't know. Like I said, just weird things that I think about. But uh, anyway, uh, you look at, uh, you know, the Canary Islands in La Palma, right, where they just had the volcano go off and that also went into the ocean as well. Uh, that it also extends that land down there. So those are kind of interesting things to me. I find them fascinating. But there absolutely are underground, underwater, I'm sorry, underwater volcanoes going off. That's absolutely going to affect the temperature of the ocean. You know, so that's all part of what is going on in my, and it's strictly, again, this is my opinion, uh, you know, but again, there are, these are different things that you have to pay attention to. So there's a lot more factors um, to it than we're always being told. If there is an agenda being pushed, okay, certain facts are going to not be shared because the agenda is the important thing, right? I mean, that, that makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, if I have an agenda that I'm trying to put out there and trying to say, well, this is the reason for this or this is the reason for that, I may omit certain facts. I don't know, that's just, you know, that's that's just normalcy. That's how it goes. But anyway, um, real quickly, I will be live streaming tonight, 8 p.m., so I would encourage you all to join me then. Uh, looking forward to seeing everyone at that time. Uh, so I'm going to jump off here, guys. Uh, I do want to hear your feedback on this. I want to hear what you have to think. Why are the oceans warming up? Could this be part of the reason why? So... Anyway, remember folks, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we truly will be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only person that is going to stop you from achieving your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? I hope everybody's having a fantastic Friday. The weekend is here, folks. Be safe. I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.